Hey guys, welcome to the Invader PC Studio. Today, we'll be taking a look at something quite exciting from ASUS. Only issue is, it's not here yet. But don't worry, it should be coming right about now. Joseph, Joseph, the motherboard's here. The motherboard's here, let me look at it. Thanks, John. But uh, why, why you pass me open box? What's wrong with you? Okay, anyway. So today we pass uh, our... Okay, so today we pass... We have... Oh. Today with us, we have two motherboards from ASUS. On your left, we have the B660M Prime A Wi-Fi motherboard DDR4 variant. And on your right, which is my left, I guess, we have the Tough Gaming B660 Plus Wi-Fi DDR4 variant. So one of the main reasons why these two motherboards in general, or why this whole chipset is actually really exciting, is that because generally speaking, for us consumers right, to actually utilize the 12th gen idyllic cpus we actually had to get the unlocked cpus and also the z690 platform but because of the v660 platform it actually opened up a lot of doors for us for even mid-range or even entry-level systems and the last main feature that both of these marvel share is that both of them are ddr4 like like here like ddr4 right here i think that's enough about the specs and why don't we take a deep dive on what's actually inside these two boxes. Okay, so I'll just put this to the side first. So today we'll be taking a look at the ASUS Prime b 660 a Wi-Fi DDR4. So this is pretty nice because it's a MHX motherboard. So we are, I'll explain a bit later on why it's actually pretty cool. But while the box, we do have a Wi-Fi adapter. So it's pretty nice to have you know, Wi-Fi for even entry-level motherboards like this. And apart from that, we have the motherboard itself. So having we take this out right here. Apart from that, we have the IO shield, some thermal pads, SATA cables, extra screws, a marble manual with a CD. Who actually uses CDs nowadays? Like really? And we have yeah, a piece of paper about the marble. Yep. So why don't we just push this to the side? and take a look at the motherboard directly. But before that, let's open up the other motherboard. And as for the other motherboard, we will be taking a look at the V660 plus Wi-Fi Tough Gaming DDR4 motherboard. So for this one, we have... Now we also have another Wi-Fi adapter. In actuality, we can see it's actually exactly the same. So, you know, we will stick it with this. Apart from that, we have the motherboard right here. I'll just push this to the side. Apart from that, we have the same SATA cables, common pads, screws, instruction manual with a CD as well. How about this? Okay. A certificate of reliability. Okay, sure. You also have another manual, kind of. And we have stickers. Okay. It's pretty cool. So we have, you know, the TUF. Or did you guys know TUF actually stands for the Ultimate Force? I had no idea. We did quite recently. Pretty interesting. So we'll take a look at this in depth soon. Before we take a closer look at these motherboards, here is some motherboard ASMR for you.
Hey guys, we're back from our B-roll ASMR segment. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's something new that we are trying out. But before we take a look at the marbles in front of us, do remember to comment and like and subscribe. And let us know what you like or what you thought about our segment down in the comments below. But going back to our motherboards itself, so the reason why these two motherboards, right, or rather the B660 line of motherboards, is a very exciting news for both us consumers or you know, for anyone in general, is because currently, in order to utilize and take advantage of the 12th gen Alder Lake CPUs, we are actually more or less forced to go into the Z690 line and also utilize unlocked CPUs. What this means is that generally speaking, right, when it comes to us building systems, we can only build high-end systems. But with the B660 line and the lock CPUs like, for example, the 12400, which is coming out probably in a few days, or maybe has already come out depending on when you're watching this, right? It basically opens up a lot of doors for consumers all around to actually be able to go for 12th gen entry-level or even mid-range systems. But enough about that, let's take a closer look at both of these CPUs, or not CPUs, motherboards rather. <laughs> and you know, talk about some of the interesting things that you know these motherboards have compared to things like their previous generation. So one of the few things that I felt was actually pretty interesting for both of these boards is that they both come with a lot of ARGB ports. So generally speaking, in both of this price point, right, you normally never see things like three ARGB ports. Like if, for example, on the top here, we have it actually over. Oh, oh. You not see that. You actually see it over here and at the bottom itself. You know, but even for the prime board itself, which is more of an entry level board, right? We actually do see the same amount of I.O., which is actually pretty interesting when it comes to things like your ARG port, like I said, and also a type C. Oh, oh, oh. You did not see that. The type C Thunderbolt port itself. Yes, I will be. Here. So, another thing which is actually one of the main things to also consider as well is that both of these bots support DDR4 so it, you can I mean you can't really see like what's the difference in terms of the port but the main thing about why these ports are so important to be DDR4 it basically means that we don't necessarily have to adopt early DDR5 and considering DDR5 as of right now is in scarcity due to the chip shortage and pricing is kind of out of whack it basically allows you to build an entry or even mirror system while utilizing the potential of what DDR4 has on this mature platform while actually taking advantage of the 12th gen CPUs. But there is one grab I do have to say though, which is in reference to this, this board alone. So if you take a look at this right here, like, like, like here, like, like right here, like, like right here, you do see, right? That the, the CMOS battery is actually a Thunderbolt. But what, what do we see here? What do we see here? Like, like, what, like, what do we see here? Do you see it? No. Why? What is this? It's so, what are you doing? Okay, but but I mean small small grabs aside, right? Both of these bots are actually really exciting, like I said, and they are launching today. Or well, technically in a few days, but you know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, segment about this Marvels himself. And let us know again what you guys thought about it. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, we're back, but sorry, that's not the end of the video. Before we go, we just want to give Asus a quick shout out for actually giving us the box uh, on time. So we could actually film the shoot itself for you guys. But apart from that, um, we are still up and coming. Things are actually coming along quite quickly. So do check out our socials to actually see what's going on behind the scenes and also what's coming up and what you can expect. We should be launching our showroom in January. So do keep a lookout on for how to come here and what you can expect to see. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the video and let us know what you think in the comments down below. Peace.